Power Committee dismisses Kerala's demand to reduce water level at the Mulaiparia Dam, says the Apex Court had rejected the demand earlier. Jailalita to survey cyclone affected areas tomorrow. Home Minister Chidambaram promises assistance from the centre for the cyclone hit areas immediately. மீண்டும் தொழிலை தொடங்குவதற்கான அனைத்து முயற்சிகளையும் புதுவை அரசும் மத்திய அரசும் செய்யும் என்ற உறுதியை மக்களுக்கு தருகிறேன் Chief Minister Jayalalitha doubles the prize money awarded to medal winners in Olympics. Gold medal winners to get 2 crore rupees. Plea filed in Madras High Court for the IIT entrance exams to be conducted in Tamil. Court asked IIT chief to respond within 4 weeks. Cops arrest two students from Presidency College for assaulting a rival student group. Cops likely to arrest more students. Hello and welcome to NDTV Hindu. You're watching News Tonight with me, Linda Hercules. Before we look in detail at what's making headlines across the state and the world, let's take a quick look at the national headlines. Students' death was a murder, says Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah after meeting the family of the student who was killed in the CISF firing yesterday. Five day ones arrested. Team of the UK police that visited the family of the Indian students killed in the UK and its with way prompts strict action against the guilty. Flashpoint between Mamta and Congress in West Bengal. Congress workers opposed DD's proposal to rename Indira Bhavan as Natural Bhavan after the legendary Bengali poet. Prime Minister says China has overtaken India in science and that India needs to double its investment in science by 2017. Australia 116-3 after bowling out India for 191. Dhoni top scores with 57. The five-member empowered committee appointed by the Supreme Court over the raging controversy on the Mulai Periyar Dam today rejected Kerala's demand to reduce the water level to 120 feet. The committee said that since the Supreme Court had ordered the water level to be at 136 feet, it could not reduce it any further. The committee will meet again on the 24th and 25th of January to finalize its report, which will be submitted in February. It also discussed the various reports on the safety of the dam, including the one submitted yesterday by the two-member panel constituted by it. Today's agenda mainly we considered the Kerala government sent a report that the dam level, the survived level must be brought down to 120 feet. We considered it and noted Supreme Court passed a direction to us. Status quo shall be maintained. Okay. Therefore, we said we will not interfere. Okay. No order. Assuring assistance to the cyclone affected areas, Home Minister P. Chidambaram said that a central team would visit the districts of Puducherry and Karalur soon to make an on the spot assessment of the damages caused, which left 47 deaths. The team would be deputed to visit the storm ravaged areas of Puducherry either tomorrow or the day after. The Home Minister, during his two and a half hour visit to the Union Territory, also said that he will apprise the Prime Minister on the ground situation tonight. Udanadiak and Nivaranam Tolil Todango the Kana Udabi, Mindam Tolil Todango the Kana, Anit the Muir Chigarium, Udavi Arasum, Mati Arasum, Seyum and the Udi Makarikarikarin. Yella Vahileum, Makar Katavian and Nivaran Gleim, Budavi Kalim, Mastia Mani Darasil, Tarum and Udi and Antarikre. In the Yerevan Angle, Delhi Center Udan, Udanadiak and Nivaran Arivikim Rimente, Pradamari Kalandan Angle, Arivipom, Pradamarim, the Amaturim Kaland, Arivipom, Perakin Nindahala, Nivaran Tetate, Tayarit, Anit Vasadikalim, Makar Kachevum, Makar Kavali Padakuda, Anjakuda, Kandi Paha, Yerend Arasilum Gulik. More politicians are heading to the cyclone hit areas. Chief Minister J.J. Lalita will visit Kadalor tomorrow. 
The leader of opposition in the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly, Vijay Kant, inspected the Kadalur and Puducherry areas which were affected by the cyclone. He also distributed food and other essential items to the public on his visit. DMK Chief Karnanadi will also head to Kadalur and Tirvaru tomorrow to review the damage caused by Cyclone Thani. The girl child who went missing yesterday at the Kilpok Medical Hospital was found at the Egmo Children's Hospital. The police have formed special teams to trace the kidnapper. According to the police, the child was apparently stolen from the lap of her father, Rajesh Kannan, while he was asleep. Rajesh Kannan, who works as a mechanic in Tiruvirkada, had admitted his wife Selvi to the hospital for delivery on Monday. <laughs> Two students have been arrested by the police on charges of attempt to murder after a bus route rivalry among the students of Presidency College in the city ended in a clash inside the campus. This left two students seriously injured. The total number of accused persons stands at eight. An earlier clash had seen seven persons in the accused list. The city police has asked the principal of the college to suspend all the 15 accused students allegedly involved in the violent clashes. Police sources have told NDTV Hindu that more arrests are likely to follow. Our crime correspondent Salim spoke to Sesha Sai, the Joint Commissioner of Police East Chennai, for more details on the kidnapped girl and the Presidency College clash. We are now joined by Mr. Sesha Sai, Joint Commissioner of East, uh, East Chennai. Uh, sir, thank you for joining us, sir. Uh, you have uh, cracked a, bur a burglary case within minutes. Please tell us how did the police constable nab the offender? Yeah. It's a good day for the police, actually. The beat officer, head constable, Shanavas was on the beat duty the, yesterday night and the occurrence took place uh, around uh, one o'clock and uh, two fellows were uh, going out and Shana was uh, uh, had the doubt uh, the fellows were carrying a big bag so he immediately stopped them and uh, checked them and inquired them they showed him some kind of a uh, card so on uh, believing that uh, they thought perhaps he would leave them but he wanted to see the bag also when he asked for the bag to be searched uh, one of the fellow started running but he concentrated on the other fellow, caught hold of him with the bag and it was found a lot of cash and uh, all those goods which you have seen now. It's worth uh, 14 lakhs, the properties are worth 14 lakhs. The Commissioner of Police was informed, Mr. J.K. Tripadi immediately he wanted uh, the head constable to be rewarded. As a beat officer, he has done the job very promptly. So secondly, violent clashes have become a, a routine affair uh, inside a Presidency College. What have the police done and what are the police going to do to curb this menace in future. In fact, you all know that very recently we convened a meeting with all these students and uh, lecturers, uh, transport employees and uh, various other NGOs also. In spite of that, the occurrences are taking place because they are taking two different routes and it was purely a route problem. And uh, we told the principal to take strict action against those students who are involving in this kind of violence. And we have started now registering cases and arresting the students, whoever are responsible for this violence. In the last case, we have arrested four, four students and demanded them. In yesterday's clash, we have so far arrested two of them. And five more are to be arrested, definitely. So I, we have recommended the principal to take departmental action against all those arrested people so that the college will remain peaceful. Sir, and finally, a 52-year-old woman was murdered for gain in Nungambakam. Please tell us about the status of the case. The case is under investigation. Uh, forensic reports are yet to be received. So once that is received, we will finalize the case very soon. We will give you the breakthrough. Indeed, uh, that was a good day for the police officers in the city. Well, moving on, a 50-year-old lady doctor was hacked to death in her clinic at Tutikorin by an auto driver. This after his pregnant wife, who was admitted in the clinic, died of complications. The doctor was also the chief medical officer in an ESI dispensary. 
The doctor had initially refused to take up the treatment as she had found the baby already dead but had to agree after compulsion from the patient's relatives. The doctor's association has organized a statewide protest to condemn the doctor's killing on the 5th of January. Doctors also prepared to take out a rally demanding the arrest of the accused. Dr. Sayyid Lakshmi Avargal, Kolai Sayyid Patta Varam, Arindu Nangal Ellorum Indre, Yelpu Therivi Padar Kaha Indre Koodi Illom, Udaneg Tamil Arasum Polisum, Kolai Aliyay Kaidhi Sayyidhi Nadavedi Kaya Edutthu, Dr. Lukku Uriya Murayil Padhi Aapu Kudukka Veyndum. A public interest litigation has been filed in the Madras High Court, seeking to permit the IIT entrance exams to be written in Tamil and other regional languages. The public interest litigation was directed to the chief of IIT and a reply is expected within four weeks according to the court's directive. After hearing the arguments, the Honorable Court directed the chairman of the IIT Council to file a detailed reply as to why the students should not be permitted to write the examination in Tamil and other regional languages of the country. The reply should be filed within a period of four weeks. The matter would come up for further hearing. A public interest litigation was filed on the illegality of erecting digital banners in the city. The, pub, the uh, petition stated that the ruling party AIDMK is openly flouting the rules by putting up digital banners on both sides of the road in places like Gopalapuram and Post Garden. The petitioner Mr. Ramaswamy said that the public interest litigation was filed after the failure of the police to take necessary action with respect to his complaint. The High Court has granted the government four weeks to respond. Present ruling party openly violated and created problem in EVR Salai from Madura while up to Central by erecting digital banners on both sides of the pavements as well as in Central Median and also in Cathedral Road, TTK Salai, near Poyas Garden also. So, I have taken a photograph and intimated the inspectors of five police stations to register a case against General Secretary AIDMK and others who were responsible for the erection of the digital banners. Unfortunately, nobody has taken any action. So, I, I filed a petition and today it is came for hearing and the first bench has directed the government to take action and report within four weeks. The Parliamentary Standing Committee for Labour had a meeting in the city to discuss various labour-related issues with bonding labour. The chairperson, Hemanand Biswal, had mentioned that he will make bonded labour an issue of top priority in the budget session of the parliament. He also mentioned that various state governments are hesitant to mention the prevalence of the same in their state. He stressed on the need to ensure that various amendments are made and includes a minimum prison sentence and increased fines for the commission of bonded labour offences and making bonded labour offences non-bailable. Some information and repentation have come up from the organisations from two ladies, those who are working in the field of bonded labourers. And the repentance from the bonded labourers NGOs, we heard both of the ladies we are impressed by the work they are doing in the field of bonded labors. We will take up this matter with the government of India for appropriation, appropriate action. Though. Already the issue is taken up in the parliament, in Rajya Sabha, in the, during the question hour, all the political parties have uh, come out with their own suggestions that even after so many years of 20-point program being implemented, the boundary labor issue is not at all solved. And many of the states are, uh, are reporting that the uh, boundary labor system is not working, is not available in their states. It is only to avoid the issues they are making it like that. But uh, we are happy that NGOs are working on it, and they are coming out clear reports and rehabilitation process also going on. Therefore, our Labour Standing Committee is taking up the issue. Chairman has taken that uh, stand now itself, and our committee is discussing on that issue. Justice finally seems to have been served on the hate crime in which an Indian student was killed in the UK. Wait for that story when we come back.